Today, I'm going to teach you some phenomenal money-making methods for solo runs. If you like videos like this, leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to drop a follow on my Twitch so I stream almost every day. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. So today's method is going to be on Bright Sands, and this is the Bright Sands map, and I'm basically going to tell you exactly where you're going to want to go. So this is going to be a hybrid of like a jungle run with a couple different things integrated into it. Because just doing a jungle run obviously is great profit just going into this area of the map, but with the new Season 3, there's a couple changes for different items that you're going to want to look out for. So basically on these money making method runs, you're going to want to make sure you have the best items that are weight to K mark value. So if you have one item that's three pounds and is worth 7,000 K mark and you have another item that's six pounds and worth 20,000 K marks, you're obviously going to want to get the six pound one. There's a couple differences that you'll see along in the video. Basically, I'll tell you what to look out for. This run is going to consist on this left side of the map. It's going to include the swamp slash rock pools area right here, but you're going to want hit jungle mainly and you're going to have to stop by this area down here in the rock pools area for some additional items along the way now since we know the route that we're going to take there's a couple different things you have to look out for before you actually go into raid now jobs are something that this season actually means something even though i hate doing the jobs the jobs aren't really made too well they're still a must because first of all they give you scripts and this is a great example of why you have to check your jobs before you do this route so right here i have a hard job to deliver pure focus crystals and guess what i'm going to the jungle pure focus crystals are absolutely everywhere and this job right here is going to give me 29,000 k mark 33 scripts and 420 faction points that is really good since you need scripts to buy weapons down so right there from this jungle run before we even do it we know we're getting 30k right off the bat now we're going to run to ica and to osiris but again sometimes you don't get good rolls on jobs and that's what happens i have another job here that says deliver 15 spinal bases so i could also do that and get an additional 25,000 k marks for basically free and if i go over here to osiris there's a mission to kill stuff on lake so i can't really do that i could but that's a little bit out of the way there is one hard job that's really good for this the job is to deliver seven toxic lands so again check your jobs and see if it actually goes in with your money making route all right so for this run i am using a shatter gun that's just because i have access to it you can literally do this run with a manta core if you know how to take care of the mobs so i spawn all the way by east caverns and it's not a great spawn but it's not a bad spawn because i have an evac all the way in swamp so i can make my way through waterfalls go into the back of jungle go down by rock pools and then make my way to evac so again as i go i'm gonna start doing my jobs along the way i just need to collect 15 spinal bases and that's basically another 30k so now we're making our way into jungle and now we're going to make sure to look out for striders to collect spinal bases we're going to make sure to collect that pure focus for that job but basically for the items you want to look out for in the jungle we're going over those elusive bone plates once again they did make them heavier and sell for a little less but they're still a great money making method so again i am going to kill every single creature in the jungle because i also am trying to look for those creature heads so i kill these creatures right here i got a bone plate i got some spinal bases for my job now i'm going to hug this right wall and basically i'm only going to pick up pure focus crystals even if i didn't have the job i probably would still only pick up pure focus crystals the focus crystals still they really don't sell for that much anymore they nerfed them quite heavily so again i'm gonna hug this right wall and kind of follow it see if i can find those peers and i'm still looking for these creatures along the way to kind of take them and use them to my advantage like right here they change this area right here we'll make sure to kill this marauder right here we have a strider right here you can maybe drop a head right here but as we're killing this last jeff we're basically just going to take our time see what's around us make sure we get good shots on this guy and as you see he dropped another bone plate we'll go get the spinal base and now we have some focus crystals right back here that we can mine but from those nodes we only got normal focus crystals i'm not going to take those with me just because i don't think they're worth it i'm still going to hug around the walls mine as much focus as i can to find those pures and again sometimes you're going to get unlucky there's also another item that you can possibly get from mining these and it's called a polarium crystal that's a really really lucky drop that you can get and it sells for like 30 something thousand so again you're not going to get it every time not at all but one other thing that you're going to want to do as you're running along the jungle is loot all the stashes in the jungle just because the stashes are actually really good this season they can give you really really good items if you don't know where the stashes are you can go on the cycles wiki page it gives you a really good location tracker of all of them right there that was a really bad stash but again i found shatter guns i found purple armors and stashes make sure to check them all because you never know what you can get now again i'm still running around killing these marauders for the bone plates i'm not really doing any loot runs like i'm not going to pick up smart mesh pistons even though i need those really badly i'm not going to take them and again i'm still collecting bone plates from these guys i'm also looking for flesh from them i'm also going to loot crash ship right here we get nothing we get a pdw nothing crazy from there we're going around now i'm just looting for attachments really quickly because attachments are also really good this season here we got a key card we got the janitor's key card again make sure you loot everything because it doesn't hurt to get some key cards i'm also going to be collecting all of the old currency i find like right here i found 376 so that's free k marks literally i'm gonna run right here to this other stash make sure i loot it to see if there's anything juicy in there 
got nothing in there just a plain white helmet but that's okay sometimes we're gonna get nothing and when i'm going through the jungle i don't like to kind of just run one way i like going left to right so if i start here i'll go all the way this way then this way then this way then this way just to make sure i kill every single mob along the way because that's where you get the biggest chances of finding the best loot because the more stuff you kill the better chance you have of finding better loot right there i got another bone plate i'm getting my spinal base for my mission i want to make sure to mine more focus crystals just to see if i get more pure focus if i get any really now we're gonna make our way into jungle camp and this place is actually really good i always make sure to loot everything here loot all of the safes because we're looking for a couple different items here now right here there's a safe right here it's gonna have old currency which is obviously free money and we're also looking to loot these briefcases right here because they can have key cards in them i found some good key cards in this place jewelry is also one of those items that's only two pounds and sells for a pretty good buck when you're comparing the pound to price ratio and right here we got another one we got our first marauder flesh which is really really good for money now we're gonna check this little house right here to make sure we loot all of the jewelry out of here go up top we'll check the safe that is next to the bed make sure nothing's in there oh my god this is actually goaded these master unit cpus are one of the best thing in the game when you're thinking of a price to value range when you're thinking of a weight to value range those are actually one of the things i was looking for and finding three in one save is actually kind of crazy now we're going to make sure we loot all the other safe is here we got another overseer's key we get some more jewelry and stuff like that now we're going to do the same thing that we did in the beginning we're going to zigzag a little bit here make sure we kill every single creature in the area and we're going to make sure we hit every single node in the area there we got our very first pure focus crystal my luck has been pretty bad but again i'm pretty sure we'll load up on a couple more we got actually two bone plates from that guy that's really lucky if these guys drop flesh, I'd also recommend keeping them just because they're pretty good for like future endeavors like questing and stuff like that. You could sell them. I wouldn't recommend selling the heavy strider flesh though. You're going to regret it. Trust me. Now there's going to be some ticks in this area. Ticks are also a very good creature to kill and you'll see why. But when these ticks drop toxic glands, I usually do let them explode like this guy. I let them explode because I, I don't want to waste bullets on them, right? But when they do drop toxic glands, those are also really good items when you're thinking of weight to value range. And like right there, I just found a Pelorium Crystal from this run. I'm telling you, I told you there was a chance. And I found one. That's an additional 30k right there that we got just from mining. That's actually phenomenal. And again, we're going to make sure to keep killing our creatures just to make sure we're getting our jobs done. And again, you might have different jobs than me, which is totally fine. You know, you might have different jobs. Just make sure you do them because they are very good at making money in this method. Now, when these guys do explode, make sure you grab those toxic lands. That's really good stuff when you're looking at weight to value range. And now we're still just going to keep killing Jeffs, get this flesh, get the bone plates, now our bag is full but we can drop some of these we can drop the strider flesh we need those we need that once we have access to the forge and we can make better bags these runs will go a lot quicker and we can actually carry a lot more if we get those forged bags but since theirs is not yet we just have to keep doing it this way and even though we completed our quest we're still going to kill these striders just because they have a chance to drop a head their head is actually worth like six grand which isn't really that bad now i'm still killing blastics just to get their toxic lands they're very good money for how much they weigh now i didn't get enough pure focus to complete this job right here i needed one more but that's okay because I still have a lot of loot on me and just think if I got the luck to get one more pure focus I could have got another 30k now we didn't get another pure focus crystal which we did need for that job but since I got a Pelorium crystal I think it kind of evens out on what I would have actually gotten so now since we basically got all of jungle done jungle is completely dry we're gonna start making our way all the way down to our evac now, one thing that we want to do in this area of the map like I said before is we're gonna look for those toxic glands from these ticks so toxic glands are actually really good money for how much they weigh so right here I'm gonna drop about half of my ammo just to make a little room i'm gonna drop about two stims so i have two stims left so now i have about 23 pounds that i can fill up worth of toxic glands so hopefully i get some more here we'll try to get some more here we go we got another toxic gland right there now we'll let them explode basically walk over them see if we got any more if we didn't get any good rng we can just kind of keep going here there's a big little area down here that also can spawn a good amount of plastic so we'll go down here make sure we get these guys exploded there's also one spawn that you can check for weapons back here which is actually kind of broken i've heard of someone finding a basilisk and someone found a hammer back here in this area so again you might as well check it since we have to go this way anyway and again if you spawn like in this side of the map you could do this whole route backwards it really doesn't make a difference whatever works best for you when you're raid so here is our evac right here in front of us we're gonna hook a right right here there's this little tented area back here that we're gonna have a look at real quick so on this table that we'll see right in front of us is actually a gun spawn there's nothing on it right now but right here there can be a gun spawn i've seen a hammer i've seen a bassy so i would recommend that you always check on that table because it doesn't really 
hurt and you find something good, then there you go. Now, if you have any questions about this run or any other runs, stop on my Twitch stream and ask me questions in the chat because I do stream almost every day. And there we go. We evac successfully. And guess how much we made? 154,000 K marks from a jungle run. From a jungle run. This was without any creature heads. Again, we still missed out on an additional 30K. And this 150K is just from the jungle run itself. This doesn't include the jobs that we have. So 154K plus an additional 30K from our mission. If we had one more pure focus crystal, we would have got another 30K from that mission. So this jungle run was actually worth around 210,000 K marks. This will fluctuate based on RNG. But again, this in my eyes is the best money-making method for Bright Sands, especially in the early game. Boys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next one. Hey,